Hey, I'm here and I'm in my pajamas at 5 in the afternoon to just talk about the Mortal Engines movie real quick. So, you may know that a couple weeks ago I read this book and reviewed it and I thought it was fine, you know. Like, it wasn't really good, wasn't really bad, but it was clearly trying, so I just didn't think too much of it. Uh, but then the trailers for the movie, they just looked absolutely awful. So I went into this expecting to just, just laugh at it at the very least, but then I was pleasantly surprised that this is actually a pretty good film. Like, really, I'm not, I'm not even joking at all. It's like, it's not perfect, obviously. There are a couple of issues with the script and with the characters, but overall, it was actually really good. Like, I really enjoyed uh, the way it looked, obviously. Like, the way it's directed, the director of this worked on Lord of the Rings, and you can tell, like, you can feel the scale of this world. And you can feel the scale of these cities. Like, I mean, from the first minute of film, you, just, you can just feel how big London is. And you can tell uh, from the first second that, yeah, this is a weird world, but I was actually kind of getting into it. You know, one of my issues with the book was that, you know, the, uh, the image of these big cities moving around was kind of goofy to me. But the film really helped me forget that. And I, I just absolutely loved that about it. I also want to say that uh, they did a pretty good job with the majority of the characters. You know, Hester uh, is still likable and all. It's just a little weird that her scar is not as bad as it was described in the book, and people still treat it like it is. Like, in the book, you know, it disfigured her entire face. But in this, it's it's still pretty bad, but, like, I, I don't know, whatever. And uh, Tom is actually a lot better, and I think part of that is because he gets less focused than in the book. And you also don't really talk about, like, his lovesick pining for Catherine or his undying devotion to Valentine that was at the beginning, which just made him seem a lot stupider. Whereas in the film, they get rid of that, and you, you can tell that from the beginning he kind of knows, okay, yeah, Valentine's not a great guy. Um, and he does get one or two genuinely funny lines, but beyond that, he doesn't have a whole lot of personality. There are a couple of characters that get mostly cut out of the film, though, and that that's kind of a mixed bag. Like, you know, Mr. Pomeroy is mostly cut out. He, he has barely any role. And uh, Mayor Chrome is also mostly cut out. He has barely any role. Uh, but that actually helps with Valentine's development because, you know, in the book, Valentine was... Like, he was mostly just an evil asshole, and it wasn't until the end that they tried to give him some depth. Whereas in the film, they don't even bother trying to give him depth. They just keep him evil and crazy the whole way through. And thing is, he's played by Hugo Weaving, so that's basically the perfect pick they could have had for this. Because Hugo Weaving's acting is kind of silly, but it's also just... it still has this weight to it. There are one or two issues with the script, though. Like, uh, it cuts out some bits from the book, and uh, the climax is a lot different, but the ending is mostly the same. Uh, if you see it, you'll know what I mean. It, it's hard to explain without spoilers, but, like, you know, overall... It's a pretty good film. Like, it's not overly long, and it does still have beginning, middle, end. It doesn't sequel bait too hard. Uh, most of the characters are pretty solid. The acting is pretty solid as well. You know, there's a couple of really, really corny lines of dialogue, which is, you know... Like, the actors do their best, but, you know, there's only so much you can do with that sort of thing. And uh, the special effects, again, are really good. You just feel the size of this world. It looks very unique, very cool. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So if this looks like something that might interest you, go check it out. If it looks really dumb and cheesy, I don't know if seeing it will change your mind, per se, because it changed mine, but, I don't know, you, you may feel differently, but I think it's at least worth checking out just for visuals alone. And if you're a fan of the book, then, yeah, you'll probably love this, too.